We're headed off to the lab right now. Got a bike in the back and we're gonna get a EMC test done. That's something that we need for the certificates for the Australian bikes. Got our fingers crossed that it's just gonna go through with no issues today. And if it passes, then hopefully we can get these Australian bikes on the water as soon as possible. So wish us luck, guys. I don't know how long it's been since we've seen the sun here, but it's a beautiful day. Welcome to the testing facilities. In China, it's lunch first, business second. Go to Mumba. It's time to go in for this test. Follow me. Welcome to the lab. We're in here for some electromagnetic disturbance testing. Uh, what we'll do is just turn the bike on, get the throttle going, get it running, and then they're gonna blast it with this giant radio antenna, shoot it with all sorts of different frequencies, and see if that can disturb the controller, the motor at all, get it to stop. If they can, then we fail the test. We've got to go back to the drawing board, rework it. If it passes, then we're set. This is pretty much the hardest test. So cross your fingers, guys. This is a big one. Hope they don't turn it on while we're in here, because we might turn into X-Men. So our friend here works for the controller company. It's his job to make sure that these controllers can pass the test. So, so he's going through and checking everything. It's like the beginning of a superhero movie, the super flux. It's about to fail the bike because the screen is flipped backwards. So the, the speed was reading backwards. Caught that one. Got two other bikes and some mechanical testing right now. I'm gonna run over and grab one. We've got all these components, batteries, uh, the mechanical test. Yeah, <laughs> So what we're doing here, we've got the bikes, all the parts for the bikes, and they, they literally test them one by one, each of the different parts, make sure they're up to spec. So it's a pretty, pretty cool test. It's part of uh, the certificates that we need to get into Australia, that and the radiation test. So we'll get it through, see, see how it goes. These are the handlebars and two. They pull on this at 45 degrees, put a lot of force on it, and spec for that. It can't uh, bend more than 10 millimeters. So what's this? This is testing the, the frame of the bike. Unfortunately, we can't do ours right now. It's in line, but they'll, they'll put some weights on the frame. They'll literally just move it back and forth to simulate riding, see uh, what kind of warp goes on in the frame. And if it's too much, then it will fail the test. Impact, impact yeah. test. Impact test, that's a good one. Put the pedals in here. This is on the right? And it will turn. Yeah, it so they put the axle and the pedal into here and then raise this weight way up and slam it down and see if it breaks. Well, I spotted a beauty. Look at that. That is a beautiful bike. Treadmill bike. This test has got the whole bike here. You gotta install this on the bolts here, the wheel, and then push it really hard. Push it with 2,300 newton meters of pressure and see if they can try and get the wheel to come out of forks and if it comes out with that pressure or less and it fails the test there's a lot of pressure but you know if the wheel comes out obviously that's bad news on a bicycle so it needs to pass that test. They'll install the handlebars, the stem and everything on and then just pull it, put a lot of pressure on this hook and see if they can get it to rotate loose. That would be bad news. Here they're testing the seat so this will come down and push on the seat in different positions. There's no seat on that now. Whoa that is a beautiful bike. Where did you get that, Ben? I would take the U out of the name. Pretty sweet. Treadmill bike. Wait. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Back to work. I'm not sure what that's for, but it's pretty cool. Have you ever wondered how they got the rating for how much weight something can hold? It's usually a test like this. So here they're testing a rack, kind of similar to the one we have on the attack. And they put on a weight, 20 kilos, 15 kilos, and the attack is 25, and they just shake the heck out of it to simulate riding condition. If it doesn't change shape after that, then it can pass for, the, for that weight level. Up and, up and down, this is a stationary. Just to see if there's a, there's a square hole there where it mounts onto the shaft to see if this will shear off. Mountain bike is very strict because it's a lot of forces. And if they come off, if it shears off, then it's a problem. You ready, Ben? I feel sorry for this guy on foot right now. Sorry, buddy. We got a flux attack. I'm not going to not ride it. We've got an attack now that we're going to swap out. It's a cool bike. We're going to swap it out and do the electromagnetic testing with this bike. Get this paperwork done. Back in business with the attack. We're gonna run it from 80 megahertz to one gigahertz now. Made it past 120, still trucking, nothing for the attack. Little break from testing for dinner. Hi. Enjoy it guys. We're about seven hours into this test. Gonna get it. We're not leaving until we pass the test. We're sleeping here if we have to. Time for a workout. It's 10.30 right now, they've been trying to kick us out. We refuse to leave, still working here until either it passes or security comes to take us out. We're gonna do this. 12.30 a.m., final test. Camera's out of batteries, phone's on the last 10%. Just about to hit the 120 megahertz frequency is the hardest part. 126. 130, can it pass 130? Going! <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Alright, we're past the hard part. Come on, hang in there, baby. Hang in there, baby. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Got it! We did it! <laughs> Been here 13 hours. Finally just got through every single test. Get a certificate. Thank you very much. Awesome job. Nice job. Very good work. You too. Ben, excellent. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So last night we finally passed that EMC test. What that means now is that uh, it was the hardest test and the certification that we need for the Australia shipment. So we just gotta double check with everything. Uh, make sure that we have the dates correct for when that certificate will come out. And then we'll get the Australia bikes packed and ready to go on the water so that they arrive basically right when we have the certificates done and we can import them into Australia. Let you guys know as soon as those are on the way. Should be very soon now.